Previously on the Saddle Club. Where's the fire? It's not a fire. Andrew's drowning. Out of the way. Who's Andrew? Oh, he's in the swamp. It's probably for the best I've been away for this past week. Why's that? Because Lisa and Stevie needed the time to plan my birthday party. Where's Andrew? He's OK, look. Andrew's a dog. Well, he's not a cat. We rode all this way for a dog? Danny, did Stevie or Lisa mention anything to you about Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. The day after Friday. Uh, like what? Like if they were doing anything special? Not really. Same old, same old. Pine Hollow is going to play host to one of the finest event horses in France. His name is Hugo, and he's out of quarantine today. It's strange. He doesn't feel like a trained horse, let alone a champion. Maybe he's having trouble moving in a different time zone. He's having trouble moving at all. Has anyone seen my boots? Size 10, pull-ons. I can guess what's happened to them. Really? They've been stolen. Yeah, right. What? Is this a private fight? Or uh, can anyone join in? Nice game, boy, Scooter. Cool, eh? It's not fair, Melanie. Give me a turn. <laughs> <laughs> How it happened doesn't matter now. Just tell us which way he was heading. My wallet. It's okay, Hugo. We'll get you out. We'll have to get Max some red. We can't leave him now. Look how far down he's sunk. He could break a leg. This is all Melanie's fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is now. What are we gonna do? It just walked there by itself, did it? That's enough, Veronica. Let Scooter tell us his story. I can't wait. Oh, Veronica. I haven't got a story. I mean, I don't know. I've never seen it before. I've been watching you. And every time you come anywhere near the hayloft, you act suspicious. Guilty conscience. Come on, Hugo. Come on. Come on. something else going on. I was making this for Carol's birthday. I wanted it to be a surprise. There's just got to be another explanation, Veronica. Well, I'd like to know what it is. Wouldn't you, Max? The money's still here. So? So? You said Scooter bought the Game Boy with the money, but look, he didn't, did he? Don't interrogate me. I've done nothing wrong. I'd say accusing someone falsely is pretty wrong. We've got you home and hosed, haven't we, Hugo? <laughs> What are you looking at? Is that mud? 
No, his markings have gone. Gone? His white socks must have been paint. What's going on? This is not Hugo. He's been substituted. This is a ringing. But why? Because the real Hugo is so valuable. But how did they do it? That's what I intend to find out. <clears throat> I'm going to the quarantine office to check out what's happened. Of course I believe you. So does Stevie. And so does Max. <laughs> Are you sure about Max? Well, Max has got a lot on his mind with the new renovations and now Hugo. Yeah. What's going on then? Look, whatever it is, it'll come out in the end. Somebody's trying to free me. Oh, no, don't talk crazy. <sighs> Veronica looks down on me. On me too. What's her problem? She thinks everybody's against her. But it's the other way around. I mean, she's against us. I tried to tell her that once. What happened? She said that just proved that I was against her. <laughs> yeah. Did you find him? I went and checked the paperwork. They've all seemed in order at this end. Mind you, they wouldn't let me look around the place. Maybe this has just been a mix-up. And the real Hugo will turn up. You're gonna have to call the police. Not quite yet. I'll call the owners in France. Make sure everything went okay at their end. Dorothea Dutay is arriving next week. Dorothy Dutte? Isn't she the French junior champion? She's coming here to Pine Hollow? Mm-hmm. And her first question will be, where is my horse? Well, it must have been that quarantine guy. I mean, who else would it be? It's a mystery. Maybe Hugo never left France. That's what Max is on the phone about. It's awful. Maybe. I mean, just maybe. Scooter is behind this as well. Give it a rest. Do you ever get tired of being wrong? It's not Scooter. And the French champion is coming to Pine Hollow. I wonder why. Suppose she hasn't heard that you're here. <laughs> Good morning, Starlight. You haven't forgotten today's my birthday, have you? Of course you haven't. I just can't believe Stevie and Lisa have. Hey, Stevie, Lisa, great day. Stevie's had this brilliant idea. You'll probably think it's too much. No, it's such a special day, I'm up for anything. We're going to ask Max if we can form a search party and check out the district. W what? It's not as if we're doing anything else, is it? No. Let's go find Max. Come on, Max. Fretting isn't going to help. How can a horse just vanish? It isn't your fault that he was stolen. You did nothing wrong. I just wish there was something I could do. Max, stop blaming yourself. If only I could get in there. Get in where? Per sang and search the place for Hugo. Now, girls, you do realise how expensive it would be to send your three horses to Europe? Well, of course we don't know exactly, but that's why we're here, for a quote on the cost. Right. Well, it would cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. First, you've got your air freight, your road transport, your quarantine, etc., etc. We all have part-time jobs. When do you plan to compete? In the spring. Ah, oh, well, you've left your run too late. You do realise how far away Europe is, don't you? Of course we do. We all major in geography. 
We mean for next spring, of course. Well, girls, I really think you're in way over your heads. Can I get a drink? Mm-hmm. Well, we have lots of money. Stacks, we work very long hours. Hmm. I thought you just said you only work part-time. Yes, we work very long hours in the afternoon, of course. Girls, I'm sorry. <laughs> What was in that water? She must be allergic to it. Well, I don't know, it's just bottled water. But where's it from? It's from a spring. A spring? Are you saying it's from a spring? It, it's natural mineral water. It's got minerals in it? Which one? Well, I don't know, minerals are good for you, aren't they? They don't look very good for her, do they? Feel. The agony is growing less. Thank heaven. Where, where is she? Who? Her. The other one. She probably went to call an ambulance. Don't move. A girl. <laughs> and then Lisa goes, oh, Who said that? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> but there's no sign of Hugo, Carol? No sign. Well, we tried. So, what are you guys going to do for the rest of the day? I might go see if Phil's arrived. I'll go do Prince's stall. Don't mind me. I'll just hang by myself. Whatever. No, I'll take along. My makeup purse has been stolen. So, what have you got to say about that? I just bought a new candy kiss lip liner and blusher too. Well, so you think Scooter's into makeup now? Who will ever understand the criminal mind? Max is going to hear about this. Everybody, you are hereby invited to the world premiere of my film. Please hurry, seats are filling fast. I reckon the renovations are looking good. What do you reckon? I thought we'd lost you to cross county for good. Nah, this is where the action is. And how? So, what did Max say? He's not there. But I'll tell him as soon as he gets back. As you know, I have been making a video we... to... I mustn't forget my assistant. We have been making a videotape for a school assignment. Now, I have edited... We. We have edited. We have now edited it. So, without further ado, I would like to welcome you to the world premiere of Eye on Pine Hollow. This is just so juvenile. So <laughs> juvenile. Now we're coming to the quality stuff. Got your Oscar speech written, Veronica? How's that, Melanie? And now Stables are famous all over the world. 
just today. You must be so jealous of Scooter, Christy. Of Scooter. Why? He puts just the right amount of Candy Kiss blusher on, don't you think? He wouldn't even know he's wearing it. Who says he is? Veronica does, don't you, Veronica? Andrew, what have you been up to? Andrew? Andrew, you little thief! <laughs> Good after all that chocolate. Happy, good breed. Andrew, where are you? Andrew, what a riot! You'll turn yourself in now if you know what's good for you. Oh. Oh. You can run, but you can't hide. Your life of crime is over. You'll let me take the rap, you dirty dog. I reckon he's clever. And after I saved your life, too. Here's your invitation. Andrew snaffled it. Veronica, I think you owe somebody an apology. You trained him to do your dirty work, didn't you, Scooter? Why is he checking and double-checking Hugo's fetlocks? Because he's worried that the white paint might have rubbed off. He knows about it because he did it. Exactly. It was the delivery guy all along. This isn't even a good bit. It's not fair. Watch my tape properly. Our tape. Hang on, Melanie. This is important. The driver must have the real Hugo hidden somewhere. Can you make out the address on the trailer? I don't know why you're playing this over and over. This isn't even my best work. It's at the end of Dry Valley, isn't it? Let's get Stevie. I don't know why I bother. We! To one. Eight, including our horses. You're trespassing. Where's Hugo? Who's Hugo? As if you didn't know. Hang on, man. Uh, Hugo, uh, I delivered that horse to Pine, uh, Pine Hollow. You delivered a horse with no marks on his legs. The real Hugo has white socks. We know you switched him. Is Hugo in there? Well, have a look at them. Do they look like French thoroughbreds to you? They're all roughies. You'd be pushing it, getting a couple of hundred for them. Lisa, can you please open the gate? Stop right where you are, Missy. Did you hear me? I don't think so. Hey, get away from there. Watch where you're going. Hello, Hugo. You need a good brush, don't you? I told you, uh, that's not Hugo. Uh, his name is uh, uh, Rocky. Lift Starlight and lift Hugo. Walk on Starlight, walk on Hugo. Come on. Starlight, halt Hugo. I wouldn't call him a Raffi. I'd call him a pretty good dressage horse myself. Stop right where you are. We're taking Hugo back to our stables. Not if I can help it. Now get off my property! Hey, hey, get away from me! I'm not scared of you! Ah! Now that's what I call a champion. Mm -hmm. 
Max, I'd like to introduce you to the real Hugo. Hugo, this is Max. Am I glad to see you, mister? Or should I say monsieur? <laughs> Day. I'm glad it's over. I couldn't take any more excitement. Could you, Carol? I don't know. Try me. Actually, I want a word with you, Carol. In my office. Now, Carol, thank you for all your efforts. But I need to discuss a rather disturbing phone call I had from the guy at Perth saying. Yes, it was us. He was really angry. But we didn't do any damage. Well, not physical, but I think he's going to need some counselling. What was all that about spring water? You'll have to ask Stevie and Lisa. OK, I will. If anybody needs me, I'll be at the mall, buying myself a birthday present. OK. Oh, before you do, could you go and clean up the lounge? It's real mess. What? Then the rest of the day is your own. Do you want me to wash the ceiling too, Max? Happy birthday, Carol! <laughs> surprise, surprise! You should see your face. Oh, she's, she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow. Forgotten, huh? You had me worried for a while. I wanted to put you out of your misery, but she wouldn't let me. Yeah, see, do your song. <laughs> together we are brighter than the sun when we're together. We are the calm inside the storm, and we are nothing without each other. And we are together where we belong. Together we are. Everything we need when we're together, we are more than the sum of us, and we are nothing without each other, and we are together. Nothing's gonna stop us now, as together we can do no wrong. Nothing's gonna hold us down when we're i